Hi, beautiful people. And I wanted to just drop in and do a video. I haven't done a uh, video in a while. I've actually just uploaded a short about tips that have helped my daughters and I to be successful in our homeschooling journey, homeschooling as a single parent. Uh, my daughters love to learn. Um, and the journey that we're on as far as this phase of the homeschooling journey is a little different. And I'll do a separate video about that. Um, but just a little background into it prior to the uh, homeschooling system that we're doing now i did the uh, curriculum and everything by myself my background is in teaching i was formerly a principal and i've taught in the classroom in um, special needs classrooms as well as elementary classrooms so my background is in education and so that has helped me especially with homeschooling and distance learning and actually when i was in uh high school i did distance learning so that's just a little background into that but i'll get into that with more detail in another video today i wanted to quickly talk to you guys about the importance of still incorporating a read aloud we love to read the library is one of our favorite places to hang out the books that I just took back to my, for my girls that we have for read alouds was a book about Arthur Ashe, which was a wonderful autobiography about him. And also we rented the original from 1930s, Ferdinand the Bull. That was a really good story. So another story that they love to keep in constant rotation, even though my daughters are older now, they still love for me to read about how full is your bucket and this is a beautiful story because it talks about the importance of depositing in other people's buckets by being loving and understanding and sharing and caring this is a wonderful book and i may come back to read it aloud on the youtube but this is one that if they're getting themselves ready for the night they love for me to read this to them and um, it's great as just a reminder to be considerate of other people's feelings and being aware of what other people may go when may be going through so that you could be more uh, empathetic and loving and kind you know now the other book that we're having a wonderful time reading is about Shaq Beasel yes I've been reading this to my daughters who is Shaquille O'Neal um, I've always appreciated Shaq's contribution to whether it's basketball or whatever, he just seems like a kind person in general. And this book is really good. It has the drawings throughout chronicling different things in his life. And how many of you guys out there remember Kazam? That was a movie when I was a little kid, Kazam. And y'all remember when Shaq was out there rapping? Okay. But anyways, this is a book that I am currently reading out loud to my daughters. And we are all three of us are getting a kick out of this. So yes, definitely in a homeschool setting, read alouds and all that there. There's so much fun because then you're learning different things. We read a lot of books on historical events to make them more relevant to what's going on now, kind of tie them all together. And uh, I hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Yes, I'm a solo mom and I have been homeschooling my baby successfully for over three years. And um, it's been an adventure and I can't wait to go into all that with you guys on other videos. So thank you for taking the time to watch. God bless you. You're on the top and going higher. And I hope you did something brilliant today. Talk to you later. See ya.